Nanotechnology is the study and control of atoms and molecules, the building blocks of matter. Researchers have been working on nanotechnology for 40 years, but new discoveries are allowing scientists and engineers to create much better products. For example, chip maker Intel manufactures microprocessor chips made up of billions of tiny electrical components called transistors. Over time, advanced nanotechnology designs have allowed engineers to make what is already small even smaller, allowing digital devices to get smarter, faster, and more efficient. In the field of solar energy, nanotechnology advances allow designers to collect more of the sun's energy more efficiently, and the parts used for solar are becoming cheaper using new nanomaterials. And in the field of medicine. We've moved into a new era of, of an ability to manipulate and understand the manipulations we're doing of these nanomaterials so that we can open up a whole you know, new area of application. Biomedical path, engineer Jason path. Zara says the ability to make and manipulate tiny particles is changing the face of cancer treatment. With nanotechnology and other tar targeted chemotherapy, we have the potential to, to possibly deliver the, the cytotoxic agent, the agent that's going to go in and kill the cancer cells, to only the tumor. In the future, doctors hope to be able to design and refine unique treatments based on a patient's own genetic profile. One of the world's leading experts on nanotechnology is Mihail Rocco at the National Science Foundation. He expects to see mass applications of nanotechnologies over the next 10 years. That means now we are just in the middle of this intense period of development, discoveries, innovation, beginning of applications. Now we started to enter the phase that we do revolutionary new products that were not possible before. Nanocomposites can make sunglasses scratch resistant or self-cleaning windows which are designed by manipulating molecules to deflect dust and water. Material used for clothes can be made to be waterproof. One of the most common uses of nanotechnology is found in sunscreen, wherein titanium dioxide nanoparticles make up a product that rubs on clear instead of white. And nanotechnology components can enhance the ability to perform operations using laser to cut and carve bone. By 2020, Rocco says there will be some three trillion products incorporating some kind of nanotechnology in them, including some very advanced uses. Next phase will be when communication will may be qualitatively different. For instance, we may develop devices that can measure signal from the brain and to have brain to brain through a device. Already we have a lot of experiments on this. In 2005, scientists at the University of Texas discovered a way to manipulate carbon nanosheets, which are one thousandth the thickness of a human hair, are photovoltaic and literally strong as steel. Commercial application for nanosheets is said to be coming soon. Samsung plans to launch flexible nano screens in devices in 2012. In July of 2011, Swedish doctors implanted a windpipe built entirely in a lab into a cancer patient using nanocomposite materials, a front page story on the Wall Street Journal. Just another story in a growing industry in which two million nanotechnology related jobs are expected to be created by 2015. I'm Philip Alexio, BOA News.